All right. I'm going to wait to see if somebody signs in. I love stickles, really great. <clears throat> There's somebody. Yay. I'll just give you all just a minute to sign in. Hi, Nancy. I know it's the middle of the day, so maybe not as many people will be here. But for this video especially, my guides would like if you all share it. Um, it's a video I am super uncomfortable and nervous about making, but they asked me, um, and so I will do it because, you know, they don't often force me out of my comfort zone in a way that is too quick for me, but time is of the essence here. And so I am totally out of my comfort zone. My heart is beating out of my chest, but there are some things they would like to say. Um, so 33 people, yay. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sad, no. I just am nervous <laughs> because for those of you who have been watching me for a long time, you know probably just from watching me, I definitely kind of stay out of controversial things. Um, I stay out of things to do with, um, I don't know, things people have a ton of opinions on that don't have to do with spirit or the other side or any of those things. I'm not going to read your guys' comments because it's making me more nervous. <laughs> um, so I do try and stay away from that. If people ask me questions about things that have happened, I do give answers, but only just what Spirit wants me to say, and I don't delve too much into it. I don't necessarily share my personal opinions on things that happen that often. I have people that watch me from all over the world now, and so I am cautious and I understand, you know, we all go through things. But over the last couple of days, I have felt... Oh, just like my heart is in my throat um, <clears throat> and oh, I should have got water and there's a reason for that um, I see kind of what's happening and the issues our world is having as Tannery um, as far as um, I don't know the, the example I'm gonna use here is the mass shooting that happened a couple of days ago and the way we see it, and the way the world sees it, um, and the way spirit sees it are quite different. And they would like us to really think about what the problem is. Because as a society, we throw a lot of blame around. We look for the problem, and we think the problem is guns, or we think the problem is the government. We think the problem is lack of mental health funding. We blame the families. We blame the government. We blame the laws. We blame the country. We blame the people. We blame almost anything in order to make sense of something horrible that happens. They want to tell us, my guides are very clear, this problem is not a gun problem. It is not a government problem. It's not a people not getting the help they need problem. This is a human problem. This is a compassion problem. This is an understanding that as individuals, we hurt and we feel pain, even if we don't want to look at that or we don't want to acknowledge that or we don't want to tune into that. It is a human problem. It's a society. It's a collective consciousness problem. They want to ask just to everybody, when was the last time you looked into the eyes of that homeless person who passed to try and see where they were coming from? When was the last time you tried to practice understanding and compassion for the young mom who is single, has three children, and drinks every day? When was the last time you tried to understand where she was coming from? You tried to see that something must have happened. I know that we have heartbreak. We have heartbreak for the victims, of course, in any situation. We have pain for them. But do we have heartbreak for the shooter's family? Because the rest of their lives, they are going to be known as the failures who did not see this problem. They are going to be branded forever as the people that did not love their child enough to get them through their youth, to teach them not to do something like this. We didn't look at what that person was going through, 
how this society excludes us so much that we had to find somewhere to fit. That child had to find somewhere they felt they belonged. In each case, maybe they felt they belonged in this fantasy online universe that supported the plans they were making. Maybe they felt they belonged within a group that supported white supremacy or uh, the ability to have guns whenever you want and do what you want or a group that hated the government. Maybe that's the only place they found that they belonged. And when you are a person who is born feeling different, feeling like there's something wrong with you, feeling like there's nowhere you fit, you will go anywhere to find somewhere you fit. It doesn't matter if it's healthy. If they tell you you are okay, you're going to go there because everywhere else in your world, you don't feel like you fit. This is not a gun problem. This is not a political problem. This is not a country problem, a president problem, a government problem, a society problem, a school problem, a teacher problem. This is a human compassion problem. We have forgotten that there are people in this world other than us that go through things we don't go through. We have forgotten that the person that you see every day that looks okay may be hurting inside. We have developed shame about any type of human what's weakness, I guess is the right word. Any type of human problem, we have developed shame around that. We don't want to get help when we have mental health problems because we are then stigmatized and that goes with us forever. We don't want to get help when we cannot control our children because then we're told we're bad parents. We don't want to get help when we cannot take care of our families because our families will be taken away. It has become a society, again, where we don't talk about the problems we're having. We just try and ignore them. We try and move forward until something horrible happens. And then the whole world has an opinion on who to blame. The only people, the only thing we can blame is us in our society because we are not taking care of each other. We need to start paying attention. We need to pay attention when we get a niggling feeling that there's something wrong with somebody. We need to pay attention when we walk by somebody on the street and they look sad. Ask them how they're doing. We need to pay attention if somebody's missing from school or from work or seems like they're not talking anymore or that they are sad all the time. Pay attention. Pay attention and ask, what is happening? What's going on? Is there something wrong? Can I help you? Pay attention to those things. Instead of pointing fingers and saying, this is a youth problem. The youth of today, they have zero consequence. You know what? It was a youth problem 100 years ago when things like this happened, or an adult problem, or a war problem, or a famine problem, a money problem, an income problem, a societal problem. It was always a problem. It's always been a problem. It's because we don't have enough compassion for each other. We think people that have problems have problems because they don't do anything about it. But the truth is every single one of us is one tragedy away from becoming that person you walk by on the street. You are one loss away, one sad moment away, one job loss or death away from becoming that person that we are so quick to judge. I really wish, and when I say me, obviously it's them talking because there's no way I could do this video because I don't like it, but they're really, they're very passionate about this because we've developed this reward punishment society that doesn't work. And when it doesn't work, we want to blame somebody. Those families are hurting. Those children are hurting. And it's not just this problem. It's every other one. We have people starving while others have so much money they couldn't spend it in a million lifetimes. We have people begging for health care. Not in our country maybe, but other countries. That's our problem too. Because there are children dying because they can't get access to things in a first world country that some third world countries have access to. We have so many things so backward and all we're doing is blaming. 
You know, a lot of stuff in the Bible I don't think is right. I think it was a game of telephone and stories got written down. I don't think they're 100% accurate. But the one thing, not the one, but one of the things that they have very right is he who is, is without sin cast the first stone. He who has not made a mistake and who has not done anything wrong in their lives you can judge and only you. And I promise you there is not one of us in this world that exists that has not made some kind of mistake. I've made a ton. Um, and I know a lot of people think, why does this only happen in this one place? Why? It doesn't. It happens other places. Maybe not as often and maybe not in the same way. But mass tragedy happens everywhere. Depending on what kind it is. Yes, maybe shootings happen more often in the States. Other things happen other places. There is all sorts of genocide in this world. There is all sorts of mass tragedy, problems, all sorts of humans not seeing other humans and not recognizing that we each have a soul and we're each important. It really is not a country problem. It is not a person or a political or a gun problem. It is a collective society. It is a earth problem. It is a human problem. We need to pay attention and we are not paying attention. If it does not happen in our little bubble, we may think of it. We may feel bad and send thoughts and prayers. We don't do anything about it. We don't look at the problem or why the problem's there. We move on to the next problem. We live in blissful ignorance until something happens that affects us personally. Personally. And that's it. We don't look at it if it affects somebody half a world away, if it affects somebody even in the next town over. We don't look at it. We need to pay attention. We need to care. Do it in your everyday life. The next time you see somebody down on your luck, on their luck, strike up a conversation. Ask them a question. Tell them they're important and that they matter. There are people in this world that go through entire days, if not weeks, without one single person talking to them. Could you imagine that life? Not one conversation, not one kind word, or one hello. That's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking and it's horrible that it has happened in our world. We need to pay attention. Every single person here, I hope, you'll start paying attention. I hope you'll start listening to your soul when it tells you there's something wrong. There's something wrong in a world that is so quick to blame and so slow to take action. And that's not okay. There is enough people in this world that we could do amazing things if we just paid attention. And so, now that I'm done being totally on the spot and totally uncomfortable as I am, I think this is the most on the spot video I've ever done and I feel super uncomfortable. But please, I will challenge every one of you watching to share this video. I know it's not popular opinion. I know it's not what we do to place responsibility on ourselves and look at ourselves and say, what else can we do? How else can we pay attention? But I promise you there are ways. We are not powerless. Together, we are so much more powerful than anything that exists. Humans have the power not people or countries or politics or governments or any of that. We have that power. We just have to pay attention and care. So if every single one of you will share this video, I will come back and do another Q&A as soon as this is done. Um, oh, I think this is kind of a good one. But so I'm going to... Uh, Tammy says, yes, based on what you've been teaching, these tragedies are supposed to help us gather together as a whole and make change. Perhaps the reason why this is happening so much is because they need to change. I believe it is, and it has started the ball rolling for us to change their laws to protect their people. Laws don't protect people. People protect people. I think that's why they wanted me to ask that. Laws do not protect people. Look at our prisons. There's hundreds of thousands of people in prison. Laws don't protect people. People protect people. Paying attention, caring, having compassion protects people. If your neighbors are watching out for you, you are going to be safer than if they're not. If your community is taking care of you, you are going to feel more powerful than if they aren't. People protect people. People care about people. In this society, unless they're in our circle, we have stopped caring because it is too 
hard and it is too heartbreaking, we need to start caring again. We need to start paying attention again. So honestly, I do. I challenge every single one of you to share this video. Spread it as far as possible because my guides need people to know that we are not hopeless and it is not too late. There is so much we can do. There is so much we can change and we can stop if we just pay attention. Pay attention to your neighbor. Pay attention to your friends. Pay attention to the homeless people you don't care about. Not that you don't care about, but that you don't see. Pay attention to the low income, the high income, the middle class, the other countries. Pay attention to the issues, to the human beings that exist here, and things will start to change. Take your blinders off and pay attention. So please share this video. I will be back in four or five minutes with a live Q&A about guilt, shame, and regret and anything else that has come up. But please share this video and start to pay attention.